right, we're back here with a, another video about the Bissell Power Track. I uh, believe, let's see, 6592. So, you saw the previous video on this. This was mainly just a overlook of what it looked like when I first got it. Uh, I didn't really fully clean it just yet, but I did uh, clean this out, this turbo brush, so it will work better. Anyway, um, we're going to just test it out, see how good it fluffs up the carpet. Uh, I had just watched another video, um, seeing if anyone else had done a review about this or made a video about this vacuum. And there is this person, I don't know if any of you have heard, but for those people who are vacuum lovers, uh, there is a YouTube channel called Intellitech Studios. Check him out. Uh, I think his le his most recent video, second most recent video, he actually did a video on the Bissell. I believe I can't remember the name of it. I think it's a Power Clean or something like that. But it's roughly the same exact machine as this, except just a different name. So. Yeah, he made a video on it, and after listening to what he kind of had to say about it, he said that these rollers, which are yellow down here, are extremely hard to get, mainly because they are yellow, and the reason of that being is because, of course, these machines are almost 20 years old, so to find a yellow roller uh, to fit this exact model would be pretty hard to find unless you find like an aftermarket one. So that's why I wouldn't be using this much because anyone who's owned a Bissell before knows that the lousy rollers tend to fail because they lock up and you can't use them. Uh, basically, no matter what you use, if you try and use oil or some sort of lubricant to, to make it work, it's never been done to, to really fix them up. So. Uh, yeah, not really worth it, but again, these are more of a, uh, these used to be mainly used as an everyday driver, but now it's a vacuum that probably will rarely get used, but anyway, I know you guys want to see a video on this, so I did put a regular Febreze bag in there. These aren't a half a bag, which are way better, but it's all good. So let's uh, see how it fluffs up. I know this will probably need to be more like in the medium height for carpet. And I really don't have anything to try it on. I will do the stairs too. So let's let's see what it does. <laughs> Seems like it fluffs it up pretty good, considering, because you really, I try and lift up the carpet in any certain way. Uh, this carpet is a little bit better, because it's on top of the original carpet. Um, I guess a better test would be to lift up this carpet and vacuum the padded down carpet here, because it has all the weight on it, so we could fluff it up, see what it does.
as you can see, just by uh, me rolling the tire over it, the wheel over it, you can see how much it did fluff up. Because here, it is all padded down because of this carpet we have to protect the regular carpet for the house. So, um, yeah, I think it definitely works really well. Like I said, can't beat a 12 amp motor. Uh, what else to really say about it? Uh, it does have good suction from what I could tell. Let's uh, try the turbo brush. See if I can adjust the camera so you guys can see. Might be able to just hold it. So as you can see by the stairs, right in the middle, it's real natted down. You can, you can just see it's supposed to look like that, real nice. And here it's just all flat, padded down. I mean, you can see the carpet's really worn here. So let's see what this little turbo brush will do. I, like I said, I just cleaned it, so it should work just fine. It's kind of a pain to get it out of there, but that's what she said. But let's see if it works. <laughs> I will say this turbo brush is a lot better than most of the turbo brushes these days because I did have a vacuum. If you watch my vacuum destruction video where I destroyed that Bissell Power Force bag version, I could clearly show you that that roll, that attachment for the hose, the turbo brush was horrible. Did not have, it did not have any power, like suction, did not really work. I, I think it was mainly just included, just to be included with the, the product. But here you can see, it fluffed it up pretty well, opposed to the stairs. You can just see the the wear spots here, opposed to here. It did pretty good, and it had a good amount of power. One thing I guess would be good to put to the test is, does this vacuum pick up pet hair? Because I have lots of cat fur from these couches for example there so let me plug this in and we'll try it just to see how good it will it will do because mainly I'm having to use the main vacuum to actually suck it up all the pet hair we have two very fuzzy like hairy cats so they leave lots of hair I know this ain't much but let's see how good it does <laughs> Pretty good, I gotta say. Clean it up pretty good. We are over here too. You can see how much cat hair. And this just happens overnight. I mean, no matter how how clean I try and keep these couches. They still get completely full of fur, so let's see how good this does. <laughs> I'm not really putting hardly any pressure on it. I'm just kind of working it back and forth like that. And I 
I gotta say, it's actually working pretty good. It doesn't get, it doesn't slow down when I try and vacuum it and suck it up. It doesn't really slow down. It works pretty good. Picking up a lot of the hair that I couldn't get off with a lint roller. So just, just doing it effort, effortlessly and it's pretty much removing it may not remove like all the big stuff unless you keep going over it because it's just the material of my couch it everything clings to it but you can clearly tell look at the difference so yeah i gotta say this these older vacuums from bissell are the ones to get because they do work really well they last and this little power brush thing works like a charm didn't even really get too dirty like I said um, doesn't really hold a lot of the pair this is a lot power a lot more powerful than these new modern ones like I said the new ones you barely put them down like I was actually using one of the newer turbo brushes on these couches and it was not lifting like really hardly anything off it without getting stuck too it would it would just shut off because it did not have the power you know like the like it should have i do believe this is a 30 foot cord uh from what i am told i'm not sure how true that is but i do believe it is a 30 foot so it will be a lot longer than your normal cords from these new modern bissels. I still have some more here. So yeah, that's the Bissell Power Track. Hope you guys enjoy this video. I'm sure a lot of you guys will. I didn't know how popular vacuum videos uh, could be, but I know the first one did good. So hopefully the next two will be good. So. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Uh, it does, like I said, it does have the bag indicator uh, thing, which all it does is a piece of plastic rises from the bottom and it turns red. Uh, for example, if I have a empty, if I have no bag in here, if I just take the bag out completely and put this back on there. I get the hose, turn it on. That's all it does, so. Yeah, it sounds like a pretty good motor. It doesn't have any issues with it. It doesn't sound any anything different than a normal Bissell. So yeah, let me know if uh, this was worth the price of 20 bucks. And it will of course look a lot better when I'm done cleaning it because I'm literally gonna take apart the whole thing, clean it and put it away for now. So like I said, I'll probably, if I, if I do any type of vacuuming, I'd probably use the 3522 uh, I wouldn't use a vacuum like this like i said mainly because you can't find rollers for it anymore yellow ones and if you do it's going to take a very long time to find one so to have a working yellow roller along with the turbo brush and like i said i just need to put on the two attachments there and it'll be good to go so yeah um anyway feel free to like comment subscribe and share hope you guys enjoy these kind of videos and you know of course definitely let me know what you guys think of this power track i'm not sure if the power tracks are better than the other ones the other models because i've seen some that are like the power clean and i've seen 
I need to look up that one real quick. Let me let me look it up because it's gonna kill me if I don't. Uh, this won't take but a couple seconds to do. Let's see. This is his new video here, as you can tell. Intellitech Studios Bissell Power Glide Platinum. 3545 and this one was I believe a year older than this model so this could be the newer model and they just renamed it so yeah he has a power glide this one's a power track he's he claims that his is a power glide platinum or something but yeah I'm not sure what the difference is between them I really don't know if one's better than the other I think they're basically the same exact machine so I really don't know and I really don't care to know i mean it's it is what it is so anyway uh feel free to like comment subscribe and share hope you guys enjoy these videos and we will see you in the next one bye